The holiday season is often seen as a joyful and entertaining time of year, but it carries a degree of heaviness for Melinda Campbell and her two teenage sons. WBKO's Allie Hennard spoke with her about drinking and driving and how it turned their lives upside down. It was, you know, early 2000s. Um, it was our first trip to Disney. Here's my now 20 year old <laughs> and this one's 23 now. So it's it's been a couple days. Right after the holidays in 2015, 42 year old Michael Campbell was killed by a drunk driver who was heading the wrong way on Interstate 65 in Nashville. The woman who killed Michael served less than a year in prison after being charged with vehicular homicide by intoxication and vehicle assault. The life sentence was mine and my boys. Um, she got six months and we got life. But Melinda uses her experience to educate others. She now sits on the Tennessee Advisory Council of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. It, it, to me, it's my way of honoring my husband's memory and making his life matter. There are generational repercussions of this. My, my children will feel this for their entire lives. Although it's been nine years since her husband passed away, their family still feels his lack of presence in their lives. My boys have gone through all of their teenage years without their dad. Um, so there have been activities and graduations and big birthdays and first girlfriends and all of those things that boys need their dads for. We just miss him. Melinda urges those going out for the holiday weekend or any time of year to think before getting in your vehicle after drinking. One mistake can cause a lifetime of pain. The lady who killed Michael had gone to a party at a family member's house. There was a lot of drinking and yes, she left. It was very much her responsibility because she left, but people let her leave. People watched her leave and they let her get in the car and they let her drive. So yes, she killed my husband, but a lot of people contributed to that. We've gone nine years without him now, nine full years. But Melinda says she just keeps going with help from her family and friends and works to keep his memory alive. This was about a year ago. Um, Colin had graduated from Western, so this was his graduation trip. And that was that was a hard it was a hard thing to do, but we wanted to do it too, to stand in the same spot. I've got some good boys. Their dad would be really proud of them. In Kentucky, approximately 17% of overall highway fatalities are caused by a drunken driver.